All right, so in this problem, we want to isolate the variable b from our formula. And in order to do so, we want to subtract this a squared that's placed on the right-hand side over to the left. So we're going to subtract a squared on both sides, and we're going to be left with c squared minus a squared equals b squared. Now, we almost isolated b, but we still have this square of 2. And in order to get rid of it, we are going to place a square root on both sides. And on the left-hand side, we have the square root of c squared minus a squared equals b. And now we have the isolated version of b. Now I want to remind that we cannot place the square root on individual terms because this is an entire expression. So the square root is placed on the entire expression of c squared minus a squared, and we cannot break it up into c squared minus the square root of a squared. That is incorrect. And therefore, the square root will stay on the entire expression, and therefore, the answer for the isolated version of b is going to be the square root of c squared minus a squared, which is answer c in this problem.